Hello guys, this is Abhijit, uh, aka Silver Fox. Hey. I'm a developer and an entrepreneur. Uh, I run a web agency and few other stuffs. So I started my career as a freelancer and which is why I want to contribute something back to the freelancing community or as the developer community. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can install and deploy Laravel 5.6 on RVPS. For this purpose, we will be using, uh, like for this particular video, I'll be using DigitalOcean uh, Droplet. But the process will be same for any VPS or running LAMP stack. This video is for those who just started learning Laravel or wants to know how to uh, deploy and inst install and deploy a Laravel web app uh, in a step-by-step -step manner. For this video, I'll be assuming that you have a DigitalOcean Droplet and you have already configured DNS. Now in case if you don't know how to do that, I have already made a video, um, I'll just put that link in the description so you can go ahead and check that video out. Plus I have also shared how you can install uh, wildcard SSL for free using less and creep uh, cert bot. So that link also I'll put in the list, uh, description so you, you can go ahead and try it out. So this is one of my park domains which I used for my previous video. So to show you guys how to install uh, Let's Encrypt or uh, install SSL certificate for free. Okay, so we'll be using the same domain for this to host our Laravel uh, 5.6 application. So you can see that the site currently have this hello world uh, message displayed but nothing else. After this particular video, you'll get to see Laravel web application to be installed on that particular domain. I'm assuming you are aware of Laravel uh, is a PHP based framework, uh, PHP based MVC framework and is quite popular uh, because of his, his community and the flexibility to add packages uh, and uh, a lot of packages available for whatsoever uh, features that you want to introduce in your application starting from a normal static website to an e-commerce website. In this particular video, I'll share with you how you can install. So there's two processes of installing. One is using the Laravel installer and another is using Composer. So we'll try both out in this video. Okay, I'll make one more assumption, which is uh, I'm assuming that you have uh, connected to the droplet using SSH command. In case if you don't know, just check out other set of videos that I have in my playlist. Okay, we'll kickstart the tutorial by downloading Composer. So in case if you have, you, you can just skip this time frame. But in case if you don't, so it, uh, it's basically a dependency manager for PHP applications. So you can manage all set of packages that you want to integrate to your web applications. It's only for PHP based uh, web app. This is their official website and here you can get all set of documentation and everything as such, right? Just click on download. It'll show you a PHP commands uh, using which you can download, but there's an easy way uh, for open to users you, you, you can easily integrate Composer uh, to your particular project. So I'll show you that easy steps. Open up terminal and type in the following command which is sudo apt get install Composer. That will do remaining stuff. Once this is done, we'll install uh, Laravel installer. So that will uh, help us or that will let us to create uh, Laravel web app. Okay, for that uh, we have to use this command that is Composer require also uh, we can do it globally so composer global and require and the package name that is laravel slash installer it uh, might take certain amount of time as it needs to install the required libraries but in case if it fails like this one uh, okay we'll just check the error that uh, it requires extension zip okay we need to ensure we have zip extension enabled uh, but before that, let's check the version of PHP that you have. So it's 7.0, but Laravel 5.6 expects it to be 7.1 at least. So we'll have to upgrade it to 7.1, but we'll do it in our next step. For the time being, we'll just enable the zip extension so that it works, or like installs the installer, Laravel installer first. This is probably going to take certain amount of time, but okay. So once uh, the process gets complete, we'll uh, install uh, our Laravel installer globally because the previous time we tried it didn't work as we didn't have the extension enabled. Okay, just type in the command. Global. 
requires the installer. So it will install the latest version of the installer file. It is going to install the required libraries or the packages for this particular installer to work. Okay, so the installer has been installed. You can verify it uh, here. Uh, this says Laravel installer complete is downloaded and installed. Before we use Laravel command, make sure to place Composer's uh, system wide vendor bin directory in the path. Okay, uh, there's the path variable so that uh, the Laravel executable can be located uh, uh, by our system. Use the following command if you are on Ubuntu 16.04 and or else basically you can locate wherever your composer bin directory uh, vendor bin directory is placed you can just change the file path to bin directory okay now let's check if the laravel command can be accessed yep all good so you get to see that we have laravel installer 2.0.1 right yeah okay so let's go ahead and create a directory also project uh, so we'll go to the www directory and create a new laravel blog okay so laravel space new and the project name whatever the name you want okay we have one more error that says okay yeah so i told you like uh, we'll probably end up on uh, with, with with this particular error which says like you need laravel oh sorry php 7.1 right no, it's a, it's a simple uh, error and we have a simple fix to that, right? Uh, it's just four or five commands, that's it done. So this is a blog where uh, which I found really helpful that shows how you can upgrade from PHP 7.0 to 1 easily, okay? So you need to utilize all the set of commands and you're good. So just type in one by one or so you can just copy paste all those. They missed one command uh, which basically does uh, disable the previous uh, PHP version. Let's say we are upgrading from 7.0 to 7.1, right? We need to disable the previous one because that, that still stays uh, within the core enabled, right? Which might uh, uh, give you trouble with Laravel installation because that will give you 500 error later on. So we'll just fix that once we're done with this set of commands. This is the last piece of command which uh, basically gives you other set of extensions like curl, the chip extension and all those set of extensions enabled for PHP version 7.1. Once you're done installing, you can just verify the same by typing this command, which will show you the version of the PHP. So you can see 7.1.15, right? So, yep, yeah, we are good now. This is the last piece of command uh, related to the PHP version. So it uh, disables the previous one, that is 7.0, and enables 7.1 for you. Try to cross verify the PHP version and install uh, Laravel web app using this laravel space new and the website name or the project name now it will take certain amount of time so i'll pause for the time being once your web application is installed completely you'll get to see this uh, message stating that application ready right uh, after this what you have to do is you have to change the env file so by default they give you dot env hyphen example right uh where is that okay you have the, that's a hidden file so you have to Okay, this is the one, right? Now you have to change it to .env only, right? So you can use cp command for copy or you can just move the existing file. 
now here you'll see that we don't have a app key right? we have to generate the app key and here you can put your database configurations if in case you just download a certain laravel projects from somewhere after doing this set of process you have to do composer space install so it will install the composer packages that are required for this particular project for this uh, is a phrase installed so uh, everything is uh, installed and you can see the vendor file folder right so uh, if, if the vendor folder is generated just assume that you have um, the packages installed but then again if you update the composer file or composer.json you have to repeat the same process or you have to type in composer space update now let's type in this command that will basically generate a key that is php artisan key and generate command here you get to see the key has been added to env file and now we have to set certain set of uh, file permission to storage folder and the bootstrap right you can give uh, full like it it needs write permission right uh, so that uh, the logs can be written and the cast views can be stored there you can just verify uh, if the directories are available uh, view cache and session cause uh, it, it uh, like uh, we came across that uh, certain set of packages uh, doesn't uh, really not not packages actually the projects doesn't include this folder so it causes a uh, 500 error cause it, the, uh, the the framework doesn't able to find uh, this set of folders within the storage directory. So in case if you stumble up uh, into this set of errors, just create these directories. Okay, before checking the project, let's uh, change our vhost configuration uh, so that to ensure that uh, if someone is looking for laravis.com, it redirects all it uh, refers the file path of our project. Uh, laravel project instead of the html directory okay sorry we have to go to okay change on the settings and the document root is uh, directed to html directory so we have to move it to blog slash public because for laravel project uh, structure uh, the index file is located under public that controls all kind of uh, take over all the uh, routing and source and templating uh, file paths and every sort of things okay just restart the server once okay let's try that okay, okay maybe uh, I forgot to change it for SSL connection because we are using SSL so we have to change the SSL configuration or the same let's try that out but in, for you in case if you don't ha you haven't enabled uh, SSL configurations right you, you can you will be good right you will be able to see the Laravel application okay for us we have to change this file here you is still redirect to HTML page or uh, sorry HTML folder so we have to push it to blocks less public blocks less public yeah that's good let's try the server okay so the laravel web application has been configured and we used laravel installer for this purpose if you found the video or uh, video content informative and helpful enough uh, please do subscribe my channel like and share the videos whichever you prefer the most uh, so that that will encourage me to uh, make more videos on these sort of uh, topics